You guys were so excited and responded so well to part one of fractions that I want to teach you part two. So for example, let's say we have one half plus one third. Now you've been told all your life you need a common denominator, but I want you to visualize why. If we have one half, there's a hole, we cut it in two pieces, and we have one piece that we're going to use. If we have one third, again, here's a hole, but we're gonna cut it in three pieces, remember. And how many are we gonna use? One. Now, if we're going to add these two pieces together, we can't just take this and throw it in here. How much is it? We don't know. So let's find a common denominator. The lowest common multiple would be six. So let's cut this, each piece, into three pieces. One, two, three. One, two, three. And let's cut this, each piece, into two pieces. One, two. One, two, one, two. And now we see we have one, two, three out of one, two, three, four, five, six. Over here we have one, two out of one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can see how we can take these three sixths and put them into these three sixths. And notice, we're still having them cut up in six pieces, but we're counting five of them. That's why you keep the denominator, but add the numerators. Addition with fractions.